Hi guys, it's GKCS. We are talking about a game from Coding Game, which is One Dev Woman. And you see these awesome characters over here, they're superheroes. Uh, what they're doing is they're playing on a square grid. So you have sprites of yours, orange sprites, and you have red sprites, which is the second player's, um, player's units, actually. And what you need to do is you need to move from one place to another. So whenever you do that, you get to a different place. Uh, if you move into a tower of size 3, so these golden ones are of size 3, then what happens is you get a point. So you see here that I have 18 points. And let's let's just restart this game. So at the very start, of course, both of you have 0 points and you have sprites randomly placed amongst, this, uh, amongst the cells in this square grid. Uh, another thing to notice, of course, is that there are holes over here. So you can't move to those places. Neither can you build any tower on them. So initially, of course, you are given uh, only one kind of move, which is move and build. So you go to some place and you build to an adjacent square. Later on, you are giving push and build, which is basically you push your opponent away from a square. So uh, those are the two moves we have. And let, let's just see a game in display a little bit. So yeah, you see that what's happening is we are pushing our opponent, we are building. Uh, this is a tower of size 2, this is a tower of size 1. And let's get to a tower of size 3. Uh, yeah, this is a tower of size 3. Now if anyone moves here, then they score a point. But can you see this uh, opponent over here? They are standing on a tower of size 1, which means they cannot directly come here. Okay, that's one of the rules of the game. Uh, you cannot move from a tower to another one, which is of size difference greater than 1. Okay, so you can jump to a slightly larger tower of difference 1 at most. You can jump down to any height that you want. But you, you cannot jump directly from uh, 1 to 3 or from 0 to 2 and so on. Another thing to notice uh, will be that after some time, you know, some of the towers will have too much height. So hopefully we'll see something. Yeah, this tower over here. So it has height 4, which is too much. No one will be able to get there. That's one of the, another rule of the game. So you see essentially a tower of height 4 is equal to a hole. Neither can you get to it nor can you build on it. So that's what this game is. It seems pretty simple. Uh, except that it isn't really. Uh, this this game does require some sort of thinking, deep thinking. Uh, till now the points I've come up with. So I'll just, I'll just run a game here. So I'm yellow over here. I'm uh, this wonderful person <laughs> over here. So uh, you see that uh, I have two units and this is my sprite. Ah, yellow is a block of size 3. Right, so uh, when I go there, I get a point. So you can see that I'm actually scoring points here. So 9. And uh, the default AI is not so smart. So what's happening is that I'll probably beat it. I know actually I'll beat it. I've already replayed this a few times so that uh, it looks good. Yeah. So there are a few ideas we have here. Uh, the first being, of course, that just making sure that your uh, your AI is correct and it's simple enough to understand so that you can develop it fast. But more than anything, of course, uh, you need a heuristic here. So the heuristic I have used is that whenever I get to a block, I look around it and I see the number of squares I can go to. So if it's a block of size 4, height 4, uh, or uh, a hole, then I give myself a negative score for that because I can't go there. So my mobility, which is one thing that I should look at during a heuristic, is reduced and therefore I give myself a negative score for that. I basically charge myself for that. And the second thing that uh, I have taken into consideration is what are the possibilities of scoring a point from here? So how many blocks around me have size 3? So that tells me the that's a pretty good heuristic, I think, uh, uh, the number of adjacent blocks which are of size 3, so I can go to them, actually. Mm, the final thing that I look into is, of course, if I score a point by moving into that block, then I give myself a pretty good score. I give myself a score of 100. Uh, and for every adjacent block, I give my score, uh, a score of 20 is what I have right now. Yeah, yeah, a score of 20. So I, I'll just show you the code, first of all.
yeah it should be pretty clear in the utility function so every action has a certain score that I can give it so I call it utility and the utility of any move is defined by uh, if you if you score something over there then I give myself a 500 score yeah so it's 500 so what happened at 100 is that I, I wasn't able to actually utilize uh, points very well the program was thinking that you know scoring a move is not as good as actually being close to scoring moves so yeah just a technical detail a few other things is that of course if I cannot go to a block of nearby height then that block is almost as good as not existing for me so I, I give myself a score of minus five uh, similarly for holes which is minus one height and two high which is minus four height uh, if there is a nearby block which will give me a point I give myself 10 points over there and what else uh, oh yeah if there's a nearby block which is occupied by a unit then I give myself a score of minus one because I cannot go there either so that's it a pretty simple heuristic but uh, what I'm going to be doing is converting this to either an alpha beta approach or an MCTS approach and I had done this the last time and you know surprisingly I was successful in the MCTS approach it's just that I think that uh, I had some bugs and that's why I performed very poorly last time uh, hopefully I can change that this time around but let's see um, at least now I have the framework for MCTS and uh, if something cool happens then I'll definitely report that uh, to you guys there's another thing which I have saved up for myself uh, there's a neat little secret and let's see if the performance is good I can actually talk about it more so uh, stay tuned and participate in this competition we'll have a video from coding game soon enough I think on Monday so you can check that out for more detailed uh, analysis of this game and an understanding from how to build this ground up but yeah this is what uh, I mean this this program by the way has reached the bronze level now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to completely refactor this code. This was written on the coding game ID. I'm going to now write on the IntelliJ uh, ID and I'm going to entirely refactor this code, change the ideas that I have over here and then let's see what happens. So until next time, see you.